Also, we got to talk about advanced auto parts shares plummeting today. It was down more than 24 percent in pre-market. As of right now, you're seeing it down 30 percent as trading has commenced here. The company missing analyst expectations on the top and bottom line. But it's really earnings that investors are disappointed with here, as well as the guidance. Earnings per share for Q1, that came in at $0.72, cents, with analysts expecting $2.60 wow. a share. The company also lowered its full-year earnings guidance, now expecting 6 to $6.50, revised down from $10.20 to $11.20, that being the previous range. So uh, this not a good day trading wise for uh, advanced auto parts, ticker symbol AAP, as we were showing there uh, on the day. And there you're seeing that that decline here that ensued after this report dropped. Yeah. And just a couple of quick comments that I'm seeing from analysts here. The analyst over at Truist, uh, Scott Sicarelli, saying whatever could go wrong did go wrong mm. here. Um, and he talks about they reversed their prior pricing strategy and that caused a prior downgrade from Truist. But he says, quote, the unravel has been far faster and more violent than we had anticipated. And that echoes comments from the company itself. Uh, the CEO saying that things were worse than they expected and that it is a competitive environment right now, which again shows that, I mean, what that seems to indicate is on the inflation front, mm -hmm. you are seeing areas where pricing has come down. Yeah. It's just not in what people are spending money on right now. Right. Yeah. Well, you never want to hear an acknowledgement of Murphy's Law within any yeah. type of earnings coverage.